Today, I'm recreating the world of James Bond in BitLife. As you guys know, we can run our own spy agency. So why wouldn't I become James Bond? So I have our list of criteria here. So we have to be born a male named James Bond and be born in the United Kingdom. We have to have 100% smarts and grades. We have to go to university for criminal justice, then go to law school and become a lawyer for 10 years because the goal is to become a detective. After we become a detective, we then have to start a spy agency called Secret Intelligence Service. Our code name has to be, of course, 007. And we have to make sure we get trained in some martial arts. We have to reach the highest level possible of special operative in assassination. We have to complete 10 plus assassination missions, unlock all the spy gadgets, complete 5 plus honeypot missions because we gotta have some Bond girls. We have to own a private jet and a luxury car. And then as we know, Mr. Bond did a lot of high stakes things. So we have to gamble $1 million at least once in the casino. So with that being said, let's start James Bond's life. Come become a patron and join the Patreon community where you can get exclusive videos videos that will not be posted onto YouTube and unlock early access to my new podcast, Lost and Loud. So here we have Mr. James Bond. We're from London, United Kingdom. We're a commoner, of course, and I have crime as our special talent. So I'm just making sure I'm studying harder every single year in school. Our mother passed away. She died while falling out of a moving vehicle. Me and my half sister inherited 75,000. Am I in an orphanage now? Oh, that's right. She got married. So we're just going to continue, even though that was traumatizing. Like we were literally nine and that happened. Poor James Bond. We could do wrestling, honestly. Yeah, let's join two clubs. Wait, I'm in secondary school at 11. Interesting. Drama club. Screw it. Let's do it. Awesome. Now that I'm 11, I don't want to use my own money for martial arts. So let's see if my stepfather is willing to pay for it. Let's do jujitsu. Wait, I'm paying for it. I'm 11. And we will become treasurer of the drama club, period. Now we're president. Okay. Okay, so we're applying to university and we are going for criminal justice, but it's not there. So, <laughs> bye. Okay, criminal justice apply. Apply for scholarship. I literally had perfect grades and I was a part of two clubs. There's no excuse. We're gonna seek higher education and now go to law school. Scholarship. How am I rejected when I literally was president of almost all my club? Okay, we've graduated from law school and it is officially time to become a lawyer. So we're gonna apply to be a law clerk and we have to do this job, I think, for like 10 years and then the detective job will pop up. I've officially been a lawyer for 11 years. Now it's time to just keep refreshing the job list to see if the detective shows up. I found a junior detective in the police department. Apply. Which of these is the most respectable Disney princess? Tiana. I am a detective. So money is actually kind of important with this whole spy agency thing because you're not just joining a spy agency. You're running one as we've established. So in order to be able to have one, you need to buy an agency, which is expensive. So I've just been taking these years. I thought I was gonna work till I was 50, but in that moment I remembered I need money. So I've actually got some properties that I mortgaged out and I've just been renting them for the past couple years, trying to generate some more income because as a detective, we're not really paid that well. So I'm just gonna age a couple more years, make a couple more million to hit that sweet spot and then we'll start. Oh, we have a squatter, time to sue. Oh, this person trashed my property. Time to sue for damages. 2.1 million dollars, pounds, my bad. We got it. I think honestly I'm good to stop. I'll just age till I'm 65 for semantics. Someone else sue. Let's go to secret agency. 6.7 million. I will just buy this one with cash. Officially started a spy agency and we have to name it Secret Intelligence Service. So here we have it. We are doing 007. I swear if BitLife did not allow you to use numbers as code names, they failed. You're kidding. They fumbled that so hard. 007 period. Oh, oh, seven. Okay, that one helped a bit, but we're most likely getting hacked, guys. So now that we have our security systems down, we're gonna buy our spy gadgets. And one of the criteria I have to do is own all of them. So I officially have all the level one gadgets. And as you guys know, in my last video, I did end up buying the Assassin's Blade just to give it a review, but then BitLife ended up fixing the bug in the game that made assassinations not work unless you had the Assassin's Blade. So it was kind of pointless buying the Assassin's Blade after all. But at least now that I have it, I'm gonna freaking use it. But when you are a special operative in, um, any mission, for example, like assassination, you can literally complete the missions with the banana taser. So it finally works. So we're going with MJoy. Takes a big load, <laughs> washing machine, a saboteur, a thumb fiddler. Nobody asked for this dog life. <laughs> Whitney Foster, racehorse. <laughs> okay, let's see their agents. Please be assassination. Agent Twilight, <sighs> hacking, no. Agent Striptease, honeypot, do this word. Give me assassination. Agent Beefcake, stealth. Agent Conch, 
hacking. I can't deal with this. Credible sources report she publicly eliminated four drug lords, including collateral damage to three spouses plus a pet chicken. Okay, the other stuff was messed up, but the chicken was too far. Recruit her. Yes, yes. Okay, so now I have to increase her proficiency. Oh my God, I just realized I have to make it a man because it's James Bond. Damn it. Recruit him. Okay, we have our James Bond. Good. Now we have to compliment him, have a conversation and gotta see if they're a double agent right away just to get it out of there. He says I need to take a chill pill. Good, he's not a double agent. So now let's just train him now that I am confident in Mr. Bond. Okay, so we're training him. So now we're gonna make his code name actually Giga Chad. Um, James Bond, even though the code name is technically 007, mm, I want to be 007. And there you go. Have another conversation with him. You know what? It might be a risk to do an assassination mission already with somebody with zero proficiency, junior agent, but we're going to try. Okay. He needs practice. Accept the mission. Use the assassin's blade. Agent James Bond, baby. They're with a government official. Wait, they're daydreaming. Move in. It worked, it worked. And his proficiency is only red because it was literally zero. Operation Danger Carnivore, we'll do this one too. Agent James Bond, shank them at a coffee shop, why not? Not paying attention, move in. It worked again. So that at least is two assassination missions complete. We'll make our code name 007. We're not special operative yet. We could do the honeypot missions now in order to build up our proficiency. That way you can completely build up our proficiency. And they prefer lovers who bear it all for her. Come on strong. Okay, that was successful. So our proficiency increased. Oh wait, that is one honeypot complete. That is one bond girl we have conquered. Prefers lovers who don't know anything, play dumb, and they like bird watching. So let's go to a park. Okay, perfect. Oh, they were promoted, period. Honeypot number three. Ooh, espionage. While out fishing, you observe your operative, Agent James Bond, following a DJ by a short distance. You decide to approach him and ask what's going on. Join him. They stole a million back, but I don't care. I got four. So this goal is just to take everyone's money so I can afford a new place so I can actually get good security. Not a patchyderm. Elephantaceous something. It's metamorphic. Coming tonight. Let's go for it. Laundromat. Apply for mortgage. Great. The new cover is so much better. I need it so I don't get hacked back. Now let me add the security. We'll do security drone. Yes. <laughs> Let's do inject them at a lake. They're alone. They're completely alone. Move in. Goodbye. <laughs> but that is assassination mission number three. Thank you very much. Actually, that line is not in line with the others. No, no, other, no. No, it's not the middle. I didn't feel so good. Oh, oh my gosh. That boy is a little fuck. I'm so not chill right now. That's better. Oh my god. Dude, I didn't even get to play the mini game. Just for that, I'm redoing it. Queen 10, there should be a split option, but stand. Period. We won. I'm gonna do one more. 14 stand. <laughs> Leave the casino. Thank you. Inject them. There we go. It worked. He's returning to the base as soon as it's safe. That's better. Okay, successful. So that is honeypot number four. And that was successful too. And our proficiency is going up. Good. And that is our final honeypot mission, aka having our bond girls. Now all that's left is reaching special operative status, completing the 10 assassination missions, unlocking all the spy gadgets, and buying a private jet and luxury car. I feel like it's gonna be impossible to um, do the prestige with just one agent. <laughs> because we've done every mission successfully and it's like this big. So let's do another assassination mission. Agent James Bond, strangle them at a bookstore, move in. And it's completed. On your way to 7-Eleven with your operative James Bond, you overhear him telling some random mall cop. He says, I reprimand him. Sir, what are you doing? And finally, <laughs> Project Squishy Bottle, accept the mission. So that is officially assassination attempt. Number 10. Well, not attempt, successful. So let's cross that off. We're still waiting to become a special operative. We're still waiting to unlock all spy gadgets and the private jet and luxury car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm officially gonna relocate now to the best one since we can afford it. So let's apply for a mortgage to this place. And we have our new headquarters with better cover. So hopefully we won't get hacked anymore. Add some more security. Or prestige is in the green with just one agent. I think we unlocked level two. Yeah, we did, okay. Let's buy all those. <laughs> My former operative, Agent Diddler, is contacting you to inform that she has kidnapped 
your half sister Joan. Jokes on you. Me and Joan have beef. Ignore the threat. Sorry. <laughs> they returned her anyways. Sorry, Joan. But me and you, we got beef. Now Agent Diddler is inside our gym threatening to expose our organization. Send an assassin, man. James Bond, go get her. She fled. Well, my prestige is going up. He got promoted. A special offer to him. I'm so happy for him. James Bond, look at you. Become a special operative in assassination, period. We're almost unlocking all the spy gadgets. We just got to get our proficiency up. I have never seen this many assassination missions at once. The Assassin's Blade is so OP. But BitLife did make it where they fixed the bug. So even if I do choose the banana taser, see, it works. So they fixed it. When they're special operative, they basically succeed every time. And I finally unlocked level three gadgets. So we officially have everything except the level fours. Guys, <laughs> my special agent, James Bond, okay? He has killed 34. His kill count is 34. He's done 38 successful missions. It says his real name is Lucas Jagger, but that's not true. It's James Bond. So his real name is James Bond and his code name is James Bond. Oh, I had him anvil my half sister. I just got asked to join the mafia. <laughs> now I just need to get my pilot's license so I can get a private jet. So we're doing our 40 hours and now I can take the pilot's test. Thank you. So it is time to buy our private jet. Let's do this $23 million one, buy with cash. And we're gonna get a luxury car. Oh my God, guys, remember the bangs? I'm growing them out because I cut them myself so bad that the hairdresser I went to was like, girl, this is unfixable unless you grow them out fully so that I can recut them for you. I was like, oh, like I cut way too much hair off on one side. Look at that. That's not supposed to be bang. That's hair hair. That's supposed to be hair that comes all the way down here, but I cut it for bangs. So we're not doing the bang thing anymore. The forehead's out. Next winter, because in the summer I sweat too much. And finally, we're gonna buy a new Bentley. Buy with cash. And that is officially the end of becoming James Bond, the world famous spy. If you guys wanna try this, just take a screenshot of the screen so you have the criteria. And this video took me over two hours to film. This is crazy. It was very challenging to do everything on my own. The longest part was definitely the build up to becoming a spy and then trying to get as close to 100% prestige as possible with just one agent, which is a whole challenge in itself, but we did it with Mr. James Bond, so it's fine. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you consider subscribing if you wanna see more BitLife and gaming content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.